ABC 10's Jay Kim hit the roads to see the conditions firsthand. He joins us from Nyack. Well, the first big snow of the season has officially arrived. Certainly a winter wonderland out here in Nyack. Take a look at this parking lot. It's really just a slushy mess right now. But if you take a look over here in the distance, you can really see that snow accumulation. Several inches of snow on the ground. Certainly a beautiful sight to see, but it's creating extremely slick and hazardous conditions for drivers headed up by 80. Take a look at how conditions were overnight. Some drivers were at a standstill for two hours at one point when all of the eastbound lanes were closed due to spin outs. Students in the Tahoe Truckee Unified School District actually got a snow day today as classes were canceled because of the winter weather. The good news now is that chain controls have now been dropped on I-80. That's according to Caltrans, but you still want to be extra cautious if you're headed this way. At the Nyack Shell gas station, we saw several drivers stop by throughout the day looking to find help with chain installations. All drivers we spoke to said this winter storm caught them off guard. They were not prepared or expecting to see the snow this early. We even saw a bus with sixth grade students from Hazel Stroud Elementary in Sacramento who were on a field trip and had to turn back around. It was a wild reaction, especially on the bus and whatnot. Kid, a lot of these kids have never seen snow fall. So we pulled over, we were stuck um, on the side of the road, putting on chains for about 30, 45 minutes. And then we moved up a little bit further and then the road was blocked. So we just got the word to just head back and try again in the morning. So you just heard it there. The kids were definitely excited about the snow. The texture of the snow is actually perfect for snowball fights or to build a snowman, but the roads are certainly slick out here. So if you are headed up I-80, you definitely want to come prepared. You want to make sure you have chains that actually fit your tires and also make sure to pack plenty of food and water and make sure you have the proper winter gear. We're going to continue to track conditions throughout the night right here on ABC 10.